All right, we'll go back to some more Zeno Notes 2. Sorry for the slight delay, things have been happening. We have a flight of aircraft that suspiciously look like they are on the way to Bastion Base, but they are just fighters. And we also have this crash site to deal with. Um, I'm pretty certain that the aliens will not intercept Danny Boy if we send it out, and I've already prepared a team for this mission. So we've got Grant, Doomslug, and Corazon Ray coming along with shield soldiers. I've got Game of Kane and Jake coming along with assaults. Shinobu Mail with a heavy machine gun. I'm still really not feeling the heavy machine gun, but I don't really have another role for them. I don't really want another rifleman, and the heavy machine gun can help suppress at range. Flesh Pocket as a sniper, and then we've got Win and End back, and Major Anders coming along as rifleman medics. All three of our assaults also are carrying rifles, which they'll drop at the start of the mission. So let's deploy the team um, to the crash site. And one thing I really want to point out right now is it's day 150, which I'm pretty sure is when the first um, beta, the first version of the game ended. So we've done pretty well to get this far. It's definitely, you can see how they've stretched things out quite nicely. Now, one thing we want to do next time we get paid is once we've got our barracks up and running, we want to start getting our B team up and running. Um, and we also need to make sure that Shred 303 gets fleshed out a little bit more because at the moment it's just a base with two planes in it. Um, do they have all of the equipment they need for their aircraft actually? Um, we are still waiting on an accelerated cannon and a Sidewinder missile. So I think Bastion is working on them. Accelerated cannon will be done in three hours and then we need to wait a day for the Sidewinder. Okay, that's fine. Um, it looks like the aircraft may be broken. Are they even moving? Um, yeah, they are, okay. They are heading straight for the base. Griffin 1 and 2 have been refueled. We could actually intercept them. It's three very, it's a fighter and two probes with Scions on board. Um, I worry that they could actually kill us in a dogfight, but I feel like I need to actually take them on. So let's get the money. They are, they're not into it coming in on Danny Boy, but it's just the fact that they're on like a direct route for the base. I'm not sure what can happen. Um, let's just commence the attack. So I think what I'd ideally like to do is take out the probes first. So we're actually gonna come in on one side. I'm basically gonna try and collapse our team over onto this probe. Now the probes don't have shields, so we're just gonna open up with Sidewinders. Um, and then once we've taken them out, we're gonna switch onto the fighter. I'm actually gonna hold the Sidewinders for our next target. So we're gonna roll both of our aircraft to the left. Okay, they've got quite a long range. I'm actually gonna re-enable the Sidewinders. And uh, we don't quite have a roll yet, but we've got a roll now. We'll just be able to dodge that shot. Okay, that's one of the probes down. So the fighter's now firing at us and the probe is firing at us. Um, the fighter has taken a little bit of damage. I actually want to make that our primary target. And as soon as I can, I'm going to roll both of our aircraft to the right. We actually took a hit there, which sucks. Okay, we can roll to the right now. Okay, those accelerated cannons really do do a lot of work. Uh, they really chew those guys up when we actually go into range. Cool, that was a decent interception. All right, that's them taken care of. We'll get some money from their crash site. And we've arrived at the crash destroyer, so let's jump straight into the mission. Okay, we've got a crash UFO, standard mission, let's get on with it. No enemies as we arrive, it's in, this is a map I quite like fighting on, but I'm really looking forward to the next update, adding some more maps to the game. Nobody here, nobody here. Okay, we've got a really nice deployment zone. There's some good cover here, I can just basically put one in back in this position here, and they can cover this whole side for me. They've actually spotted, we haven't seen them in ages, but we've got a Scion. Um, I'm just going to crouch you. He's way too far away to engage, but if he comes forward, we've got some good shots on him. Uh, Wooden Impact can see every exit from this building. They've got this area locked down for me right now. Um, let's bring Anders out to this bush. This building here is a little bit concerning because we've got these this door that can open to it and come out of that. We've also got this flank here. I'm going to bring um, Grant to this corner here. Actually see into that building, which is great. Looking quite clear, we're going to bring Doomslug straight forward. And I'm going to bring Corazon right here. We're going to get them to drop their weapons where they're standing next turn. I wanted to get them out of the the, um, the dropship this turn. We're going to put Game of... Oh, Game of Kane has a shotgun, though. There's no point putting Game of Kane here. I'm going to put um, Flesh Pocket over here for now. And I'm also going to put Shinobu Mail here. And then we're going to take um, Game of Kane into cover behind you. And I'm going to bring Jake into cover over here. And we've got a pretty nice deployment out of the Sky Ranger for the first turn. Um, d crouch everybody who hasn't got a shield. That means the shield units have lower defense, making them higher targets. I actually have a shot on this guy, but the 60% chance of the armor are too high. We're going to hold for reaction fire. Let's see what happens. It's been a long time since I've been able to deploy from the Sky Ranger without being attacked by aliens. It's nice to have a change. He's out of cover, but we haven't got any reaction fire on him. Okay, that was a miss. 
No, I thought we had a reaction sniper shot. He's going for the pistol instead. Okay, he's just moving a lot. Moving a lot. There's no way he's going to fire a shot here. He scattered out the whole team, though. That's a civilian getting shot. Lots of misses from the team right now. That's what we got shields for. Okay, we actually got a hit. He's bleeding out. Another alien in the back. Okay, we've got a more powerful Sion. Might have been nice to have had the grenade launcher to clear this building out, actually. Wow, that was a shot through the window at a civilian I didn't even know was standing there. We've got a, a game of Kane's level sniper. Okay, this guy here, I'm just going to take him out with a three-shot burst from the machine gun if I can. Give Shinobu Mail some experience. Got a hit, but not a kill. Um, let's just finish him off with a rifle shot then. Okay, still alive. We'll try again. Okay, he's down now. I want to try and keep Flash Pocket available for the for the rest of the turn because we've got some other guys to deal with. Um, I would like to kill him with pistol fire if I can. Okay, he's down. Do you still have enough TU to drop your gun? You do? Excellent. Now, you can hear the puppy barking, but she's through with my flatmate, so they should deal with her. I say that all the time that I end up going to deal with her every time, but I really do hope they deal with her this time. Okay, I'm going to hold my shields for this turn because they've knocked out the TU by dropping their guns. Um, and next turn, we're going to start moving forward. The one person I'm going to move is I don't like where Game of Cain is right now. So I'm going to just put Game of Cain into cover behind this wall here. Um, and I want to move my sniper uh, into a slightly better position. I feel like this rock is actually a really good position for them. Grant can get to this tree here. Face this way. And then I can move my sniper here. And Flesh Pocket should have really good line of sight. If that guy comes around the corner, etc., he should have a shot on him. All right, I'm not going to crouch so we still have enough TU for an aim shot if they would decide to do reaction fire with it. We haven't moved Anders yet. Let's get Anders a angle on this laneway. And we'll just turn and crouch. And I think that's everyone I want to move this turn. Let's just take this nice and easy. Yeah, Jake hasn't done... A lot of people haven't done anything last turn. That's all fine. Okay, that's another civilian down. That's the guy that I knew was back there. That was not the shot I was hoping that you would get. Flesh has been mesmerized, but that's fine. He'll be unmesmerized for his actual turn. There's another mesmerizer there. A mesmer. Shields are doing great work here. Really lets me put people into um, areas you wouldn't really think they could normally go into. This is actually a longer range fight than we've had in a, quite a while. Okay. Let's have a look. We've got a sniper shot on him, 100% chance to hit him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duck him into cover and then take the shot. Hit but not kill. So we need to finish him off. Um, riflemen are a little bit thin on the ground right now. We do have Shinobu with a three round burst if I put him here. Only a low percent chance to hit, but we should get the suppression if nothing else. And again, I want to get Shinobu as much experience as I can. Didn't get a hit, didn't suppress, and now he got mesmerized. Not ideal. Um, do have a rifleman back here when it went back. That's a long range shot for him though, 37% from there. There's not really any position I can move him to unless I bring him forward to here, and then we won't have enough for a normal shot, only a quick shot. I wonder if I can bring Game of Kane to here and get a shot at him from here. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go deal with the dog, even though Tatma really should be doing something about it. But I can hear her barking. I don't like to hear her barking. Um, okay, he's down. There is another one over here i'm just thinking about how i want to lay things i think i want to leave winning in back here to cover this angle uh we want to keep flash pocket here but crouch him we can't crouch you you i just want to bring back here so you've got the cover from this angle um our shields i'm going to move forward i'm going to move this shield to here ready to clear this building and i'm going to bring jake up behind them okay and then we're also going to bring doomslug to here doomslug can't make it to there we're going to bring doomslug to here and Doomslug's going to face this way and crouch. And I think that's us for this turn. I haven't done much with Grant. And my two riflemen are just sitting, waiting to take um, shots. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move Anders. I'm going to leave Anders. I want to keep an eye on this passageway. I'm just going to move Anders, Anders to the facing this way. Because if anyone comes around this, they're going to have to step around and we'll get see them anyway. Let's see what we've got to deal with. I'd like to get through a mission with no injuries if I can. Okay, we've got another Scion. Wanting to call them sectoids is, is re it's really hard not to. Okay, he's being buffed by the psychic energy. There he is. Great shot. Try not to get mesmerized if you can. Oof, that was a good shot. Okay, so much for no injuries. 
I'm glad the enemies don't get like plasma shotguns. It's really weird having a UFO full of scions with magnetic weapons this late in the game. I wonder if the aliens have are actually struggling a little bit because I've dealt with so many of their attacks. And I think I destroyed one that was trying to build a base. Actually, this one might have been trying to build a base, if I remember right from the mission, uh, the the um, radar tag. Uh, that they may not actually be a combat unit. Okay, how can I get a good angle on this guy? Hmm. My shotguns are both over here, and I want to get an angle on this guy. I'm wondering if I just bring Grant to here, and then crouch and shoot. Don't have another shot, but now I have cover here, and I could maybe bring Game of King to here and shoot him. Yes. I really like using shields as cover. And just to keep... Um, Game of Cain as healthy as possible. We'll put them on this side of the wall. I'm going to relocate my sniper to here. I want to put my machine gun like on the corner of this roof. I can't do that right now, but let's bring them up to the edge of the wall. And we're also going to bring this rifleman up to here. Actually, no, I'm going to put them here. And again, crouch them here. Covering this way, covering this way. We're going to bring this shield up to here. Well, we can't make it that far. Let's just put him here for now. I'm going to open this door and see what's inside. Okay, this room looks clear, but we've got to check the corners. Okay, room is indeed clear. Doesn't mean back here is clear. So we're going to bring um, Anders all the way forward to here. They're going to hold the back, and we're going to push through with the shotgun and the shield to this doorway. And next turn, we will um, we'll burst out and just deal with anyone out here. So I think everyone's moved. Let's end the turn. We're going to heal up our healings. This is probably the last, like, next next update. The um, automeds will not heal as much. What a shot. Wow. That dealt with him. Okay, we've got another one. Not quite as prepared for him. But he decided to miss a back shot, which is pretty bad for him. And we found the UFO door. Okay, they've closed up. Let's see if we can get, um, let's, again, I want to try and get Oshidubas around here. I just want to make sure that people are getting experience. So let's get Doomslug to kill this guy. Okay. Remember when we first started to deploy pistol shield soldiers, how bad they were? And like, they are becoming absolutely essential to my strategy now. Um, I really, um, I'm having to rethink what I think about them. Rethink what I think about them. Reevaluate what I think about them. Okay, we're gonna put the machine gun on the roof here. Facing this way. I also want to get our sniper rifle on the roof as well. I want to get it right there. And we're going to put this rifle in here. Again, I just don't want to burst into here yet. There's a big building. We want to clear that eventually. But this will get me overwatch on the entrance to the UFO. So if anyone comes in or out, we've got some shots on them. Gim McCain can come and sit here. Use the fruit stand and the shield soldier as cover. And then we're just going to deal with this team here. So let's open the door. We'll step out with the shield. This looks all clear. We'll step out one more. Check this way. Looking really good. Shield up to here. Shotgun to here. And then I'll bring my rifle to here. And we'll just sweep around the back area of the map with these guys. I think it's pretty clear, but we'll just make sure. Okay, so we've got a one combat team movement running through here, which is going to meet up with the rest of this team as they set the lineup. Then we're going to just anchor here, sweep around this way, clear this, and then we'll clear the UFO. Should be a pretty quick mission from this point onwards. I feel like I need to get another shotgun for these type of missions. Three shields is, is overkill. Be careful where you're going, friend. Okay. So I'm going to bring this team up to this doorway. I'll put the shotgun here, and I'm just going to put the rifle here in hard cover, just so we can watch this way. We're not certain about this corner. I'm almost certain this is clear, but we'll just be certain about it. Um, you don't have enough TU to open that door yet, so just you don't have enough TU to crouch. We'll just hold here. We're going to hold here. I want to bring this shield down to here. It's going to take them a couple turns to get here. And I'm actually going to bring this shield and this shotgun as well, and the four of them are going to clear all of this. Then jumps around. Yeah, I think we're good. We've got the machine gun and the sniper rifle watching the door. So let's end the turn. Oh, 
was a miss. That was also a miss. Should have got mezzed. So one of them is standing in this area here, and then those two are behind the door. The good thing about shooting at them in their turn is you get all of your TU back from being mesmerized the next turn of your play. So it's actually really good to use reaction fire on Scions. Okay, this is clear. We know there's an alien standing right here that we can't deal with using um, our snipers. So I'm just gonna set a shotgun trap up here. So if he comes around the corner, we've got a shotgun on him. Um, and then I wanna bring my other shield up to this doorway here. That's as far as he can get this turn. I want to bring my rifleman to here. We've just got line of sight down the corridor between the storage units. And then this team here, let's clear this house. House is nice and clear. I mean, I'm pretty certain there's nobody back here. I can get a gun here. Get a rifleman here would be pretty cool. Um, you're not going to be able to get there this turn, but let's just get you here. And I'll bring the shotgun to here. Oh, okay, the shotgun's going to be on the other side of the door. It doesn't really... Oh, no, it does. He's going to be seen by that alien. Oh, the alien isn't where I thought it was. That's fascinating. All right, let's end the turn, and we'll just let um, Reaction Fire deal with anyone that pops up. There he is. Yeah, we got a kill with the machine gun. He acted as cannon for it, though. He ran out and ran back in again. I think he saw his mate. Went, nope. Not stepping out there. No, thank you. Just stay back there. Don't get killed by the aliens. Let's let one civilian survive this mission if we can. Okay. Almost 100% certain there's no aliens back here or in this building, but we have to be certain. Looks good. Um, thank you. I wanted to turn this way, but it closed the door on me. Okay, there is an alien in here, but we're at least um, got a shield up in front of him. Let's see if we can get a shotgun to him. 17 TU if I go there. It's not enough for a reaction shot. Um, let's get you to crouch and face this way. From here, we have no chance to hit. From here, we have a 79 times 3, but we don't actually have a shot. I've got a snapshot at 57 times 3. Let's try that. Hits, but didn't kill. You don't have another shot. I do have my rifleman. You can get to here. No, because he's blocking the door. That's the problem. And he can't move out of the way. Okay, it's pretty much down to Grant here. Well, Grant can actually blow the back wall, and then I can shoot him. So let's bring Grant around the corner, and we'll throw a debt charge here. Okay, that mulched him. That's just as good. Nice. All right, I'm going to see about moving Shinobu to here. It's going to take him two turns to do that. We'll get him started. And I'm going to leave Flesh here for the moment, just to deal with anyone who steps out. We're going to put Anders here, next to Jake. And we're going to bring Corazon Ray up to the edge of the UFO. These two are just on Overwatch here. Um, I actually am going to move uh, Flesh Pocket now, I think. Get him here as fast as possible. And let's end the turn. So as guessed, there is, of course, a blob jelly um, tentacle man inside the UFO. What's the central point here? So the center of the UFO is here. I want to be right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get you up there next to you. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now you face this way and crouch. Okay, so next turn we'll open up with a welcoming committee. I want to get my two riflemen here put you here for now. Shotgun here. Other shotgun here. Shields need to start stacking up around the edges of the UFO. <coughs> Something stuck in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> That's why I have water. That's better. Make sure everyone's facing the right way. That's in the turn. So the two from the doorway seem to have retreated deeper into the ship. Um, we'll deal with that as soon as we get our shields up on the corners. Okay, 
want a rifleman here. Where's my other rifleman? Here. Oh, I forgot to move them last turn. That's annoying. Well, my other rifleman here. We're just going to hold for another turn until I've got everybody in position. Why the pistol? I need to turn that off. I need to ever get out of the pistol. Okay, let's open that door and take out the other one. I don't think the sniper has a shot on him. They do. Oh, they need to reload. Okay. So they've got a snapshot now. He's down. Cool. We'll start moving up with the shotguns then. So I'm just going to set up basically two shields in front of this doorway. And then a shotgun behind each of them. We're going to reload, I think, if we need to before we go through the door. And then another shield here. And then I want the riflemen just stacked up, ready to go in while we're clear. So you crouch, you crouch. Are you? You need to reload. Yeah, you've got seven rounds left. You've got four rounds left. I'm going to reload to you. You have 15 rounds in your pistol. You have nine rounds in your pistol. Okay, everyone here is looking pretty good for ammo. Let's end the turn and next turn we'll burst in. But if something opens the door, then we've got a welcoming committee ready for them. All right, open this door first, then open this door. Okay, so we've got a Scion Engineer and we've got the Mentark. Um, He's quite far back. Let's just bring the shield wall forward, I guess. So you need to go here. I'm quite happy to run. I'm actually like purposefully running the uh, the Overwatch here. Okay, you get to here. You get to here. Did he actually miss that? Okay, you need to get to here. You need to get to here. So I've got my shield wall. Let's get a rifleman here and a rifleman here. And we'll focus on taking down the guy first. Oh, you got him through the shield. 59 damage. Holy crap. It's terrifying. Uh, let's flashbang him so that doesn't happen again. And we'll just take some pistol pot shots. Give the pistol crew some shots on target. Okay, they're going to miss with everything, aren't they? Right, you need to back up as far as you can. And I'll move this guy here. And Anders can take some shots. Okay, that's that done. And then you can go here. If he moves, you've got a shot. And then we should have crouched these guys if we can. And then we'll end the turn. There is more enemies inside. Be careful with that minigun. I'm glad that you didn't kill our, the entire team. I was not expecting that flank. Shields are doing their jobs. He's bleeding out. Did we capture a Mentark? We could capture a Mentark here. I don't know if I have in this campaign. When I play the final, like my actual main campaign, I will make a definite effort to capture everyone. Okay, that's mission complete. No deaths, at least. Oh, it's not mission complete. So there are still aliens in this UFO. Not in this room. Ah, there's a dude hiding behind the corner here. Okay, let's finish him with uh, Game McCain. Game McCain has to do an interesting dance to get there. If you uh, run to here, that frees up space for Game McCain to get to here and fire the shotgun. That's it. Okay, cool. Shields are great. I love shields. Very powerful. Uh, do not underestimate shields, especially when you get them upgraded. I'm starting to pl plot out my upgrade um, tree for the main campaign, and I'm going to try and skip, see if we can skip mag weapons and go straight to lasers, and just use the cleaner weapons to, to cover the gap. We'll see how that goes. Although I have to say the mag pistols are pretty nice. But then again, surely laser pistols are going to be even nicer. Okay, we've got Winnebeck back wounded for 16 days and Gimme King wounded for 6 days. That's really not that bad. Picked up a bunch of stuff. 
Um, let's get the ship back. Let's see what the aliens have in store for us next. So there's there's something going on over here. Uh, entry work on Mars stop. Okay, we need to sell some more junk. Um, yeah, sell all the items. We need to probably build another storage bay in this base. Um, I don't need seven sign corpses. I know people are going to say, oh, why aren't you doing the corpse research? Honestly, um, some of the research is more valuable than others. For example, I don't really see the point in doing the Scion research and the Sekton research, but um, there's others that are valuable and I need to actually probably evaluate them. But right now I'm just sending the corpses because I'm not really going to have time. Okay, we've got a destroyer with Sibelians, uh on a ground attack mission with a, a small, what, what, what was being asked to them? They've got a medium, no, it's a destroyer and a probe. That's going to be quite hard for this base to deal with. Let's just go back to normal speed, close. Have we managed to finish the uh, accelerate cannon? We haven't. So this base currently has one um, standard auto cannon and a heavy auto cannon and one load of sidewinders to take on a destroyer and a probe. I think we can do it. What we do is we launch the sidewinders at the probe take it out of the equation and we just try and drum down the destroyer we should be okay this is this squadron's first um assault and that's the accel the accelerated cannon done. just by the time the accelerated cannon gets delivered we're going to be past the point where we can launch but i'm going to um, move that over we're going to go to the stores we're going to transfer items and i want to move one accelerated cannon over uh, and that's all i want to do right now yeah and that's going to oh i said that's a bastion base damn it Okay, so watch out for that arriving so I can send it over to uh, the cube base. Did I not rename this squadron? Yeah, Famine and Death Squadron. Good. The four horsemen. Well, the three horsemen. The two horsemen at the moment. Okay, we've got another set coming here. Destroyer and Fighter um, on a ground attack mission. But we do already have a team here. So we're going to launch um, Miller Squadron at them. Okay, we have an attack here. Let's go. Okay, the probe is being protected by the destroyer but we're going to come in from the sides no i want you down here and i want you to attack the probe and i want you down here and i want you to attack the probe as well so weapons are free on the sidewinders let's see how this starts they're coming in on death i'm going to roll death to the right i'm going to roll famine to the left okay, you are going to have to activate your afterburners death after you roll to the right and famine you have to roll to the left Okay, now you need your afterburners on, and I need to just keep an eye on you. Okay, he's down. And that was with the standard accelerated cannon. So the accelerated cannon is our most important weapon in this fight. Um, you're still got your afterburners on, which is fine. I'm going to turn them off now. I want your afterburners on for the moment, and I want to roll you to the right. Yeah, I did a lot of really good rolling there. That's his armor down. Now, Death is in its uh, rear firing arc, which is really bad. But Famine is still coming in on the front, so we're just going to roll Famine to the right. I need to try to do some micro with Death. Okay. We managed to get it. We actually took very little damage. That was a very good result. So we've got another Crash Destroyer over here. Um, I'm going to deal with that. I want to find out what happens over here first. So we're going to close this for now, and I just want to deal with this engagement first, and then we'll decide which one we're going to go to. So we've got a fighter and a destroyer. Um, Miller 2 is actually quite badly damaged. That's because it got shot down, and it's still recovering. So we'll have to watch out for that. Um, I don't want to do that. Let's tail until overland. Okay, now we've got the engagement. So again, we're going to try and destroy the fighter with our sidewinders, and then take on the destroyer. I actually want to both come in from this side, and I want both of you on the fighter. No. I can't wait for the new, um, part of the next update's gonna have new combat controls. So I can't wait to see what they're like. Um, how did you fire that shot? Okay, the fighter's down, now we're on the destroyer. Just rolling both ships to the right. And again, rolling both ships to the right. And again, rolling both ships to the right. Oh, didn't get another one to roll. The destroyer's armor down. Nice, 
that was another good fight. I don't think we took any damage there at all. If we did, it was very okay. Miller one took some damage. Miller two took two damage. Okay, so we have two crash sites to deal with. One is a crash destroyer in the desert, and the other is a crash destroyer in um, a boreal setting. I need to pick which one of these I want to go to. This one's worth 125,000 for bounty. This one is worth 125,000 for bounty. So basically, you just have to pick one to go for, and we'll need to dispatch a team to it. I pretty much have a team ready to go. So we'll probably start the next video with me hitting one of these, and we'll try and hit both of them if we can. I'll probably go for this one first, but honestly, they're both so far away from our main base that by the time we travel over there and back, we're probably not gonna be able to get to the other one. That's again why we need to get this new team up together at the cube. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching some more Nuts. I've got some more High Fleet coming soon as well. Have a great morning, noon, night, and I'll catch you later. Ciao for now. See ya.